Hey all Thomas Hack Art Kids, welcome back. Good to see you guys again. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I believe we're on day four of our positive and negative space logo project. And as I was looking around today for ideas, I actually found this one while I was on Facebook. And it has to do with doctors and nurses that are helping us with uh, the coronavirus disease and you can see how they used positive space this stethoscope here to outline an area and then the negative space the blue area in the middle creates the heart so I just thought that was interesting because it had to do with our project so I thought I'd pass that along to you guys just some ideas on how you might manipulate the negative space using positive space objects to do that and that's how they did it for their logo all right, let me move around here. There we are, back on our platform. Back here. All right. So you can see here, I talked to you guys about this last time. Uh, I created a list of 10 brainstorm ideas for things I might want to create in a logo. Personal logo is what we're trying to create for this project. Uh, I chose out of my 10 ideas, I chose my top four. And then last time when I did that, I picked out uh, as my first one I wanted to try and do as my fishing logo. And for that one, if you guys remember, it's right here. I did the first letter of my last name, which is an E, and I sketched it out, and then I uh, created in the negative space of the open area here of the E, two fish shapes. So that's my logo for that. I continued on and I did my other three ideas. I did another one that is my initials, Mr. E, and you can see in the negative space of the E, I created an Erlenmeyer flask. If you don't know what that is, you actually can Google it. It's a flask made by a chemist that's uh, one of my relatives. He lived quite a ways back, but he created a, a glass flask that's used in chemistry a lot. So I thought that was appropriate because my last name is you know, pretty unique. You don't hear about Erlenmeyer a whole lot. So I put that flask in there. Uh, my next idea was something to do with fire, and I thought if I used the flames to make in the negative space kind of a uh, a bottle, and then um, I put the fire in the shape of an E, that's positive space, the fire is, and this open area here is the negative space. But the reason I did that is I thought uh, I like to make my own hot sauce, and maybe I could create a logo for my hot sauce bottles because uh, sometimes my friends will ask me for some of my hot sauce that I make and so I thought well this would be a cool logo maybe to put on that just an idea for one these are all rough drafts and my fourth one was the one I was kind of least happy with it's the hiking logo that incorporates my last name and I really didn't get the negative space down here it's all positive space so that's why I would call this one kind of a, an unsuccessful one. I did my last name and I used the leg of the hiker to be one of the L's in my last name. I created some mountains and things like that, but I would say this one's right out because it doesn't really use negative space, whereas the three others use negative space in their logos. So out of those three now, I'm going to choose the one I want to develop into my final draft. So at this point, you guys should be developing those four logos. They're rough draft sketches. And you want to come up with your top, I would say at least top one or two that you like the best that could be turned into a final draft. And then once you do that, next time, I'll have chosen which one I want to go with for my final draft. We'll talk about refining that picture, changing it, and building it up to make it into a logo that's suitable 
for you to have as a final draft. If you guys have any questions, I'm, I'm always here. I'm ready to hear them. Uh, please, please, please email me at my school email, which is Erlenmeyer, E-R-L-E-N-M-E-Y-E-R, -E -E at L-E-S-D dot K-12 dot A-Z dot U-S. I'd also like to see your guys' artwork. If you want to email me pictures of your artwork that you're you're creating at home, I'd love to see that. And we're actually, as a special areas team, talking about how we might be able to post some of that artwork up on the school Facebook page. So if you guys would uh, email me and include that artwork in your email, I would just love to see it. Hope you all are doing really well. I hope you're enjoying these uh, online art classes that we're doing. And next time, like I said, we'll be doing our final draft for our logo design. Have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you then.